Feels like it might be the time. Seems like everything's fallen into place. The savanna has anyway. It's fallen back uh, from desert to savanna. Wolf Corbett's people are moving once more. The Hobbit Lord has has extended clear across all over the place. We could starve. Possessive Man is spreading again. Flush is up there. Last time we went into chaos. But most importantly, the desert is gone. If we domesticate giraffes, if we fulfill our mana giraffe destiny, we will have a town, our first town. And it feels like we're falling behind. Again and again, public cards keep coming up for bid. These are the ones you bid on right here. Uh, since we're only in era one, despite our our um, our little red here, who's all ready to expend himself in favor of getting a public card, we're unable to bid on them. So a lot of them are going uh, into the discard pile. Though those that aren't, though, are ending up in people's um, demographies, which is improving them and not improving us. We don't have our tally sticks. We don't have any public cards. We need to start advancing. Um, we feel like we're backing up into the wall. Uh, Flesh is going to agree to the Mana Giraffe Destiny. Little Red is going to agree to the Mana Giraffe Destiny. Giraffe knows that it's what we should do. So I need to go to the computer and do the die roll on the forum. Let's take a look at our table here. This is going to be our first um, domestication attempt of the game, I believe. We get a plus one. So basically if we roll a three or higher, we're good. Um, if we roll a one or a two, however, we are not so good. All right, here we go. Yes! <laughs> and here stands Giraffe, our very first metropolis. Um, I want to remind those of you who are following along, but maybe not as closely as I am, that I have a history with um, giraffe-based metropolises. Not to not to curse this. Um, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. We actually even succeeded with our chaos roll, uh, but I have a history with them uh, sinking beneath the sand. But it's here now, and we're going to enjoy this time. Um, and I, I like to think that even though uh, we, we might fall beneath the sand sometime in the future, our long neck will be poking out for um, future generations to discover. We don't get to name our town yet because we can't talk. Uh, but we do get to do some population actions, two of them. So let's, let's make up our minds about that. We have some choices to make now that our de destiny is fulfilled. So the reason we can't name our town is because we aren't able to say things yet because of the, our, our brain condition. Um, so I decided, oh well, that's neat, um, I decided to work on the mound. I haven't really for a while. You can see a lot of the grass is just kind of dried, but my son for the most part has left it alone. Um, that's nice, he, he's not helping me with it anymore. But I worked on it in honor of fulfilling us fulfilling our yeah I'm talking I'm talking in honor of fulfilling the manager of destiny um, I added to it it made it somewhat giraffe like um, so although we can't name things uh, I think this will be the name of our our town um, this this mound here. Oh. Well, our people are feeling good right now. Giraffe, she's placated. Um, she was very patient with all of that. Let's put her up. Let's, let her, let's, let's just take a look at Giraffe and, um, and smile because she really, um, she, she had a long-term goal, something she really wanted to do, but she was very patient and allow the others to kind of get their way for a while. Um, now that she's gotten her way, which is to domesticate the giraffe here, I guess. Oh no, I, I got a special giraffe to put next to our ape. If you notice, I, I give everyone their own little animal that they've domesticated. Um, so here's my giraffe over here. Actually fell down in the night. Here's a, it's a baby giraffe. Um, we'll put that right here. So now everyone's feeling kind of good. Um, 
flesh is going to take advantage of that. And although it's kind of dangerous and we've experienced chaos, we're feeling foolhardy and, and uh, drunk on our success. So flesh is going to go here, and then he's going to send someone across. And we're going to have to draw to see who that is, I guess, from our battle station folk. But we're going across the Bering Strait. One, two, three, four. Right there, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. I actually could go straight here, I think. Yeah. Uh, as long as they agree, that's where we're going to go. I don't see why they wouldn't at this point once we're here. This is how we became human. <laughs> and the fish. And the <laughs> I'd put the outer space away for a little bit so I could um, set up this wonderful game, Search for Poseidon's Gold. Um, but that's kind of a, a little bit of a tangent. I also didn't want to get too far ahead in space. This is going to be interesting because um, as our Origins people gain someone, the crew of the Pobucklin Rend is going to be losing someone, even as they've um, sort of gained the capacity for even more people. Okay, and we are going to actually just turn them over so I don't see who I'm drawing. All right, looks like Cowboy's bad. Cowboy's game for, for going to for the, being the one to 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 pioneer the new world that that fits. All right, we're gonna end off our turn with Cowboy finding himself uh, in Yellowstone. Very fitting. Uh, our demography is not super good. Um, infrastructure tracks looking nice, uh, but we were definitely we we're definitely playing reckless here. We're 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 liable to go into chaos again. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Nelly, we did it! We were successful! What? We did it! We totally did it! We only had a 66% chance, I think, and we did it. Oh, that's wonderful! We fulfilled our mana giraffe destiny. I knew it. I did.